Hey, do you want to get lucky? Well, today I'm going to show you how to get lucky consistently by creating your own luck. I'm going to stop now because that's bullshit. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like shit today. I'm tired. I'm cranky. I'm uninspired. I don't want to make this video. Sometimes even I get down. But if I allowed my life to be ruled by my emotions instead of me choosing to control my emotions, then I would still be on a mattress on the floor back in Plogvitz. I have nobody. And instead, I'm heading into Plogvitz to go to my favorite coffee shop and have a free coffee made by my own wife. Emerson said, do the thing and you'll get the power. Action, you take action and the power will come to you. He didn't say sit around and wait until it feels right or sit around for the perfect moment. He said, do the thing and you will get the power. Do it! And even as I'm recording these things, I can feel my energy returning. So even though I woke up tired, cranky, uninspired, just doing it makes me feel inspired. Look at this. This is actually where Sandy and I used to live. Number one, Tchaikovsky Street here in Leipzig, right in the heart of town, right, right above a bakery. We used to come down here and have fresh croissants every morning. We had this beautiful view looking out over the street here. And we gave it all up. <laughs> and now here we are returning as tourists and I have to walk past where we used to live, our beautiful apartment together. Meanwhile, we're stealing the bed from Sandy's own mother and sharing a one bedroom apartment. But honestly, we're much happier now than we were then. And you know why? Because we did the thing and we got the power. Nothing is impossible. We took a leap like no one we've ever known. Honestly, we got on a plane to go to Denver. Neither of us had ever been to Denver before. And we were landing to be picked up by people we had never met before to go and stay in a house of people we'd never met before. It was totally blind. And we did it all based on promises because we hadn't even been, it's a really loud truck. We hadn't even been paid the money to move yet. So we spent our savings to get there. And in the end, it turned out to be a lie. But look at all that we've accomplished since we took that leap. I've directed my own feature documentary. I started a second nonprofit. I've connected with doctors and PhDs and politicians all around the United States and actually all around the world. We've seen more of America than most people see in a lifetime. We've traveled to Australia, throughout Europe, and now we've been invited to go to Africa. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! These trams just don't stop. So while it is a little bit painful to walk past our old apartment where we used to sit on the couch and watch X-Files while eating Chinese takeout, at the same time, we're so happy we took that leap. And honestly, those creature comforts are a small sacrifice to make for the goals that we've been able to accomplish and the vision that we now have for our lives. Here's another damn tram. And another damn tram, and another damn tram. I might as well take the bus. <clears throat> By doing more than what you're paid to do, you're doing what Emerson says, you're doing the action, you're taking action. And by taking that action, you're actually increasing your power and your ability and your influence. You're, you'll get noticed by the right people. Doing the thing is the secret to creating luck. Because by taking bold action regularly, you're bound to get lucky sometime or another. <laughs> Go. 
I mean, my wife and I could look at our trip from two different ways. One, we had a lot of things go wrong, a lot of tragedies. I broke my hand. Both of my computers got destroyed. We were lied to, but we see all the times that we actually got lucky. We got to see almost all of the entire United States. We got flown to Australia. We've seen Europe. We've seen so much together. So we see that we got lucky rather than seeing and focusing on all the tragedies and everything that went wrong. So here I am at my favorite coffee shop. I'm always a welcome guest here. When I made the video, nobody asked me to. In fact, I was told no. He didn't want the video, but I just did it. I did more than what was required of me. I just filmed him on my iPhone making coffee, and then I cut it into a video, and it led to everything that I got here in Leipzig, including my wife, because my wife ended up working here. Ralph Waldo Emerson was right. Do the thing, and you will get the power.